So now, let's dive into 3D modeling. But before we start 3D modeling, you should know that there are multiple ways to actually uh, make a 3D model. So let's say, for example, if you want to use the push and pull method, you can go over here and choose a primitive C. So over here, you can see that there's a cube, cone, spear. So let's say you want to model something that's closer to a pyramid, you can start with this C. So for an example, I'm going to choose something like, let's say, a cone. So a cone is here, and right now, in Cinema 4D, you cannot actually directly start modeling. What you have to do is you have to convert this into an editable uh, object. In order to do that, select the object right here. And over here, I'm going to press C on my keyboard. And once I press that, you can see that the three uh, pointed icon actually appears. And what it allows me to do is select the individual objects right here. So over here, you can see that on the left side, I can work around with the texture, which you're going to learn in further lessons. Here I have points, which is the basic uh, element of the overall uh, object itself. So I can select the point right here. I can move around the point and change its shape, as you can see right here in 3D space. I can just move around the point just like that. I can also select two points. So if I were to uh, shift hold two points, well, both the points are selected. And if I were to move this, you can see that both the points are moving out just like that, as you can see. So essentially, when I select two points, it's also actually moving an edge. So for that, I have this edge tool right here, which allows me to select an edge and move this around just like this. Similarly, I can hold two edges right here and move it across just like this. And when I select edges like this, it's essentially selecting a face. So I have that as an option as well. So I can go over here, I can just drag it out. And this is the push and pull method. So you can push it in, pull it out and get the model of the shape you want, just like that. So that's one way of modeling. Another way is to draw. So it may be preferred by many of the people right here. So I'm going to go into mesh right here. And here you can see that there's an option uh, to select polygonal pen. So if I were to click this, I actually like uh, to work with the top view while making um, you know, using this method. So I can simply click just like this. And over here, you can see that there's a polygon actually made. I can click over here, create another shape. And there you go. So I can click over here as well, just like this. I can click another point, point to point. I'm just going to make polygonal face just like this. So once I go back over here, here you can see that uh, the polygonal shape is there. There's uh, my S's and everything. So let me just go to the S, click here, just like this. And if I want to move this around, I'm in my polygonal um, pen still. So I'm just going to go back to selection tool right here. I'm going to select this. And if I were to move this, upwards. So you can see that now I have a shape just like this. So I can go over here and move the shape down and so forth. So I can just move around the shape. And there you go. That's how you can make a shape by using polygonal pen right here. The other option that you can make is by using the extruder option that we viewed in last few lessons itself. So I can grab any of the shape right here. So let's say for example, I'm going to go to the top view right here. So let me go over here and create a spline, something like a star, for example. Let's, let me move it aside. And now what I can do is I can extrude this shape. So I can go over here. I can extrude the shape. I can go over here and extrude this and give this as a child. And there you go. That's the shape. Right now, it's quite flat. So I'm going to go over here into the extrude. And over here, I'm going to just increase uh, the movement right here. So on this part right here, so it actually has a bit of a depth. I'm going to move, uh, have both of them set to zero, right? So this is the Y axis. So I'm going to just uh, keep this just like that. So there's a bit of extrusion. If, if you want to see the polygonal uh, division of this model itself, you can do that right here by selecting on the extrude. I can hold, I can press N on my key and I can press B. And once I do that, you can see the shading right here, which is the division of the overall shape. And you also see the division right here. You can see the edges right there. So I can go over here into the extrude. I can increase my subdivision and you can see that the subdivision, the level of detail is increasing. I can also incre increase the uh, palm subdivision right here. I can go to the caps 
And once I add in the size, you can see that the divisions start to follow. And you can see that how these models are made. And all of it, as you can see, are made up of points, lines, and um, faces just like that. So we're going to learn more about these methods. And we're going to focus first on the polygonal modeling technique in the lesson. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.